This is the story of Patrick Muldoon and his magic balloon. It all happened once upon a time, and it could happen tomorrow to you, if you're lucky. Patrick was a wee small slip of a lad, generally good and rarely bad, but he liked to get into things and over things and under things. Oh, yes, he was a curious boy. He was always talking to a dragon or a chipmunk or a squirrel and he even had tea with a leprechaun, he said. One day, when his mother looked hither and dither and thither and yon, he was out in the mud with his underwear on. What have you done with your shirt, she said. What have you done with your shoes, she said. What have you done with your pants, she said. Patrick O'Reilly, McGinty Muldoon, what kind of mischief is that that you're doing? How many engines did you shoot on the block? How many holes did you get in your sock? How many marks did you make on the wall? How many windows did you break with your ball? Ah, but a fine man you'll grow to be soon. Patrick O'Reilly McGinty Muldoon Patrick O'Reilly McGinty Muldoon Can't you play quietly one afternoon? Where did you get all that dirt on your face? Oh darling, your hands are an awful disgrace How many times did you wander too far? How many cookies did you eat from the jar? Ah, but a fine man you'll grow to be soon. Patrick O'Reilly McGinty Muldoon. It was especially important for Paddy to play carefully this afternoon because his mother was going to market. Please, Paddy, she begged. Don't poke your nose in the bumblebee's nest. Don't dig up the garden looking for buried treasure. And don't eat a worm or your tummy will squirm. Now, Paddy always tried to be good and he wanted to be good and he wished so hard that he could be good, but his curiosity was always running away with him. This time, it was a balloon. A tiny, shiny, green balloon that was bobbing ever so gently on the hedge. Now that's a curious thing, he said to himself. A tiny, shiny, green balloon. I wonder what it's doing there. He circled round it. He pinched it, poked it, squeezed it, stroked it. Ouch, said the balloon. Who said ouch, asked Paddy. I did, said the voice, me. Barney Balloon, I said, ouch. You talk funny, said Patrick. You talk funny, too, if you had a string tied round your nose, said Barney Balloon. A string, said Paddy. Sure, said Barney. Take a hold now and see what happens. Well, of course, Paddy's curiosity got the best of him. He closed his eyes and made a wish. <laughs> And sure as the ocean's full of fish, he got his wish. Whee! Away they flew, higher, 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 over the rooftops, over the seas, over the land as quick as you please. What fun, said Paddy, to fly with a magic balloon. How'd you like to go fly through the beautiful sky? By jingo, bingo, with a magic balloon. Oh, how happy you'll be, and the things that you'll see. By jingo, bingo, with a magic balloon. Now you don't need a ticket, you know. Just close your eyes and we away you go. Sailing off with a breeze, 
zooming over the trees. By jingo, bingo, where the magic balloon. Ticket, you know. Just close your eyes and we away you go. Sailing off with the breeze, zooming over the trees. By jingo, bingo, with a magic balloon. After a while, Paddy said, I have no idea where we are, do you, Barney Balloon? Did I do, said Barney. Well, how do you know, asked Patrick. Because it's foggy. Foggy? Yes, foggy, said Barney. Where else in the world could we be but in England? We'd better land until the weather clears. And they came down, down, down into London town, right in front of Buckingham Palace. Oh, look, said Paddy. We're just in time for the changing of the guard. One little tuba, two trombones, three shiny drums, and four saxophones. It's the biggest little band that worked so hard at Buckingham Palace when they changed the guard. Here come the soldiers, up, two, three, marching together, proud as can be, to the biggest little band that worked so hard at Buckingham Palace. When they change the guard And to add to Her Majesty's forces To make the parade complete Our horses, horses, horses Glibbity clap, glibbity clapping down the street To one little two by two trombones, three shiny drums, and four saxophones. It's the biggest little band that worked so hard at Buckingham Palace when they changed the guard. Suddenly it began to rain. They were in England, you know. Thousands of people opened their umbrellas with a tremendous whoosh. And the whoosh gave Barney and Paddy a push into the air. And away they went with the wind. The storm was so bad they couldn't tell which way they were going. East by northwest, south by northeast. In fact, they were in a real predicament, pickle which is some pickle of a predicament. Suddenly, they bumped into something. It looked like it was... A mountain peak with vanilla ice cream on top. Oops, said Paddy. Excuse us. I hope we didn't hurt you. Welcome to Switzerland, said the gentle mountain peak. You're right in time for the Yodel Festival. Slide down my snowbank and do drop in. As they rolled down the snowbank, they made a big snowball that got bigger and bigger and bigger. Suddenly, plop! They stopped. And when they broke out of the snowball, they were in the valley below and were indeed in the middle of the Yodel Festival. Come join us, said the villagers. It's really very easy. If you're Swiss, Clap like this, tap your feet to this beat. I'm zwei, drei, just you try, join on. 
this Swiss song. If you're Swiss, clap like this, tap your feet to this beat. I'm spine dry, just you try, join along this Swiss song. Everybody was having a grand time when suddenly Paddy, who enjoyed worms very much, saw what he thought was a big worm. In fact, it was the longest worm he ever saw. He and Barney began to follow it to see how big it really was. And you know what? It wasn't a worm at all. It was the longest piece of spaghetti you ever saw in your life. Imagine. And it led them right into Italy, into the town of Naples, in fact, where a wonderful puppet show was going on. That's Mario the marionette, said Barney Balloon. And Paddy never saw such a show in his life. Mario the marionette loves to hop around Tumble up and down, he's a very merry clown He's Mario the marionette the children love to see Mario the marionette in happy Napoli Oh, you ought to see him dance Ought to hear him sing Tra la 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 ling When he makes a face He can make you laugh Like a funny photograph Ha ha He he Ho ho Mario the marionette Loves to hop around Tumble up and down He's a very merry clown He's Mario the marionette The children love to see Mario the marionette In Happy Napoli Paddy and Barney were really enjoying themselves Until suddenly they heard one of the children say Look at that beautiful green balloon I want it we want it too, said the other children, and they rushed forward to try to get Barney away from Paddy. We better get out of here, said Paddy, holding on to Barney for dear life, and away they went. Well, it was tricky at first because there wasn't much of a wind, but there was a little breeze that tucked them right down the boot of Italy, down to the shins, past the ankle bone, and right down to the toe. Hello, toe, they said. One journo, said the toe. What can I do for you? Well, said Paddy, you see, we have to be on our way, and there isn't very much wind today. Oh, said the toe. Is that so, said the toe. Well, bend over, close your eyes, and quick, one, two, three, I'll give you a little kick. Oh! Over the Mediterranean Sea sailed Paddy Muldoon and Barney Balloon right into the middle of Egypt. They landed next to a funny-looking statue, a lion with the face of a man. What's that? wondered Paddy. That's the Sphinx, said Barney. What's the Sphinx? asked Paddy. Barney laughed. That's a riddle nobody knows. Who knows what the Sphinx thinks when the Sphinx thinks? Who knows what the Sphinx thinks? I don't know, do you? And when he's thirsty, who knows what the Sphinx drinks when the Sphinx drinks? Who knows what the Sphinx drinks? I don't know, do you? He's out there in the with his head upon his hands. He wants
wants to tell us something, but no one understands. Egyptian, who knows what the Sphinx thinks when the Sphinx thinks? Who knows what the Sphinx thinks? I don't know, do you? He's out there in the desert with his head upon his hands. He wants to tell us something, but no one understands. Egyptian, who knows what the Sphinx thinks when the Sphinx thinks? Who knows what the Sphinx thinks? I don't know, do you? I don't. It's getting hot," said Paddy, and I'm too tired to fly," said Barney. "Look, there's a camel. Maybe he'll give us a ride." "Hello there," said the camel. "Jump on my hump, and I'll take you as far as the Nile River." And in just one jump, they were on the camel's hump, and through the heat and the dust and the sand, they made their way. Clump, clump. Pretty soon they saw a sign saying, "Welcome to the Nile. Watch out for crocodile." And quicker than you could say "bongo" in the Congo, they saw a thousand teeth flash in the sun, and a voice behind the teeth said, "Oh boy, a boy in a balloony sandwich. Just what I've always wanted. Yum yum." You can bet they scurried out of there in a hurry, past the elephants, past the gorillas, past the water buffaloes, and then, as they rested in the shade of a banyan tree, they saw a real, live, happy hippopotamus with stubby legs and tubby toes. Oh, said Patty, I want one of those. All I want is a happy hippopotamus, a happy hippopotamus, a happy hippopotamus. All I want is a happy hippopotamus to keep me company. Oh, I don't want any tiny rhinoceros, a flat-footed platypus, a dog or a catypus. All I want is a happy hippopotamus to keep me company. A lion is flying, and so is a chimpanzee. A big giraffe can make you laugh, but there's just one thing for me. All I want is a happy hippopotamus, a happy hippopotamus, a happy hippopotamus. All I want is a happy hippopotamus to keep me company. Paddy and Barney had lots of fun with the happy hippopotamus, splashing and swimming in the river and playing tag. But the happy hippopotamus didn't realize how strong he really was. And when he bumped Barney with his nose and said, "Hag, you're it," Barney took off like he'd been shot out of a cannon. He sailed way up high into the eastern wind, with Paddy holding right onto him. Here we go again," said Paddy, and away they went, over the Red Sea, over the Persian Gulf, over the Indian Ocean, and over the China Sea. When at last, the eastern wind got tired, and dropped them politely into the arms of a beautiful cherry tree in the land of Japan. We've certainly been on the go," said Barney. Well, I know where I'm going now," said Paddy. "Oh, I'm going to take a nap." "A smashing idea, old chap," said Barney. And they closed their eyes, counted cherry blossoms falling gently from the breeze, and the Japanese nightingale sang this lullaby: "Little stars are peeping." Over paper houses, little islands sleeping while the moon is high. Little children dreaming on their little pillows to a cherry blossom lullaby. To a 
cherry blossom lullaby Little golden lanterns Glowing in the garden Gentle little night winds Sing a little sigh Little children dreaming on their little pillows to a cherry blossom lullaby to a cherry blossom lullaby to a cherry blossom lullaby It was so nice for Paddy and Barney to get their 40 winks in Japan. They woke up just in time for tea and cookies. Fortune cookies. Hmm. Well, now, you know what that is, don't you? Well, it's a special cookie you break open, and it's got a piece of paper in it with a surprise message. When Paddy read the message, he clapped his hands with glee. What do you think it says, said he? I don't know, said Barney. What does it say? It says, pack your spoon, your knife, and your fork, because you'll be taking a plane to New York. And that's exactly what happened. Zoom! Went the engine. Up went the wheels. Coffee, tea, or peppermint punch, said the stewardess. And before they knew it, they had landed in New York City and were walking down Fifth Avenue. My, it's crowded, said Paddy. I wonder what's going on. You there, said a voice. You with a green balloon. You ought to go to the reviewing stand. You'll get first prize, you know. First prize for what, asked Paddy. For bringing the greenest green balloon to the St. Patrick's Day Parade, he said. Why, so it is. St. Patrick's Day today, said Paddy. And look, here comes the parade now. We're painting the town green for the Irish The likes of which the town has never seen Oh, everything at all, from the jail to city hall Is wearing a special coat of Kelly Green on We're painting the town green for the Irish And practicing a tour a -lure -a Every Irishman be gara from New York to Glockamora is swinging his shillelagh. -ay -ay -ay. We're painting the town green for the Irish, for the Irish today. Ooh, we're painting the town green for the Irish. It's Ireland wherever you may go. Romanian or Scot, if you're Irish or you're not, you're welcome to be an Irishman, you know. Painted the town green for the Irish And practicing a tour a -lure -a Every Irishman is wearing Just a little bit of errand For soon the big parade gets underway We're painting the town green for the Irish For the Irish today Oh, it was certainly a grand and glorious St. Patrick's Day parade. And for winning first prize, Paddy and Barney received a free ticket to take a ride on a tugboat. Little did they know that they would drift far off course and sail way down to the Spanish main, where there were lots and lots of pirate ships. A seagull came by and gave them warning. Beware of the Pirate King! A tortoise lifted its head out of the water and said, Beware of the Pirate King. But it was too late, because there, coming out of the waves, was a huge wooden pirate ship with red sails and 24 guns ready to fire broadside at anything in the way. And there, at the top, 
top of the mizzen mast, snarling and swinging his shiny sword with one hand and waving a pistol in the other, was the bloodthirstiest, meanest, scariest, hairiest figure of a man with a patch over one eye. And he was singing this song. Ahoy, ahoy, when you sail on the Spanish main, beware of the pirate king. Well, shiver me timbers, I'm rough and tough and all of that kind of stuff. I'm the yo-ho <laughs> pirate king. Whenever the wind is right for the sails, I sails right with the wind to plunder by thunder the land and see yeah, there's treasure ahead for me the yo-ho <laughs> pirate king ahoy me boy beware of the skull and bones the flag of the pirate king for silver or gold or a piggy bank I'll get you to walk the plank I'm the yo-ho <laughs> Pirate King I bury my treasure Deep in the sand And ha All of my crew No wonder they turn their watch out They shout The Jolly Roger's about Beware of the <laughs> Pirate King With one huge arm, he lifted Paddy and Barney out of the tiny tugboat and onto the pirate ship. Oh, 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 me hearties, he laughed. Now you know what it means to meet up with the pirate king. Give me your gold or I'll make you walk the plank. But we have no gold, said Paddy. And it's awfully cold down there in the water, said Barney. No gold, roared the pirate king. No gold, said Paddy. Oh, come on now, cried the pirate king with tears splashing down his face. That's not fair. You've got to have gold. We're sorry, said Barney, but we don't even have a penny. Oh, dear, sighed the pirate king. Then it's up to the plank with you. Get up now, get up, get up, get up, get up. Paddy, get up, I say. That was his mother's voice now. I've been at the market all afternoon, and you must have fallen asleep. Asleep, said Paddy. <gasps> Do you mean I've been dreaming all this time? You must have been, said his mother. Now get up, please, and help me bring the packages inside. Paddy rubbed his eyes, stood up slowly, and as he looked around, what do you think he saw? A tiny, shiny, green balloon bobbing ever so gently on the hedge. Now what do you think of that, said Paddy, as he went to pick up the string. And you know what happened then. How'd you like to go fly through the beautiful sky? By jingo, bingo, with a magic balloon. Oh, how happy you'll be and the things that you'll see. By jingo, bingo, with a magic balloon. Oh, you don't need a ticket, you know. Just close your eyes and way away you go. Sailing up with the breeze, zooming over the trees. 